Hey, welcome back to some more Super Auto Pets. It's another P Jammy episode. Um, yeah, to answer a few questions. Uh, yes, I just ate my entire plate of nachos between episodes. Uh, no, I did not record it. Um, and that's actually it. I just I polished it off. I was so hungry. Yeah, it was. It was still cold. Let's be the bearded balls. That's a good one. Anyone got bearded balls? Probably shouldn't ask that, but this video is not made for kids, so it's okay. I'm sorry, what was this guy's squad? I missed the first, I guess my first unit and his first unit just ate each other, so. Ah, the cone snail, it's fine. It's just, it's so sellable. I don't want to apple anybody, to be honest, so we're just going to buy a goose. And then that'll actually hopefully make our chipmunk live? I should freeze you. I really want to get the level next turn. Okay, a lot of goose action. Kind of sucks, but that's okay. Cone snail's going to pop off. And now our possum is going to go to town on your squad, man. Less one one dog, huh? I don't know why. I mean, it's just a guy. Just a guy playing the game. Gazelle? No magpie means no gazelle. And the sea urchin, I just never... I've never seen it work. But maybe if I give it a 2-2 buff from the opossum... Alright, we're already out. Um, Give me just a level, man. Okay. I'll take the level this turn, and the Osprey, I kind of like enough to sell the Goose and, like, get you going. Yeah. This is a good unit. I could have definitely sold the Opossum. Um, you know, if things, if money had worked out to where I could sell the Opossum and buy the Osprey, I'd be a happy man, but it's just not in the cards. You're a little scary. Oh, your trumpets, you spent your trumpets before you spent them. Ha ha ha, you're bad at financing an imaginary currency. Yo. Okay, now I would do this for like an extra kick. Make you a 7-6, and now we get a big fat unit. Maybe a 7-9, seven, 7-8. Seven, kind of sleeping. Still sleeping, although Silk Moth wouldn't be the end of the world, and we're Silk Mothing. <sighs> you at the back? No, because it's spawning a 1-1. One, one. No. Do it like this, and I hate it. How about that? And don't don't keep my Silk Moth. I don't know what we're trying to build into, but this Osprey is definitely going to stick around for a hot minute. He's just a big boy. Okay, glad I put the Tamarin back here. So we're definitely going to need the extra damage. I don't think it's actually enough. Um, so, you know, if you would hit the Silk Moth, I think we still would have lost, so it's okay. <laughs> but I definitely don't care for you right now. You're not sticking around long term, I'm sorry. It's not happening. I think we already got your achievement anyways. We did. We just didn't win with you. But that's fine. That's an achievement for another day. Uh, okay. Osprey with the flying fish. Is actually, this could go hard. This could go, like, real hard. And I hate to keep freezing you and then not taking you, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Cone snail, you're not, you're not it, man. We're looking for summoners, and no summoners. Oh, heck yeah, I'm taking the lettuce. And then you, <laughs> I'm sorry, Silk Moth, but you're just like so mid that I can't decide if I want you to stay. And I think your usefulness is definitely running out. But that's fine, because... We get a big old groundhog. Actually gonna two for one on the groundhog? That's really good. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, this is this is awesome. What's up, Muffin? Sorry, my cat's talking to me. The Silk Moth always just lurking in the shadows. I'd really like another Osprey, please. We're, we're in tier three, right? Yeah, thank you. Oh, the Slug! Oh my god, this is so good! Uh, yeah, Cone Snail out. Slug in for sure, skis. Let's apple up the slug. He's gonna stay around. We got a good summoning build. This could go hard with, uh... Uh, I don't know, tree frog. Um... Yeah, my squad is kinda building out, man. Anything that goes good with summons, we're loving it. Oh, and since these guys are like... They're, they're leveling up, so they're giving more trumpets. Oh my god, this is so good. I mean, it's not like so good, but it's like, it's pretty good. And I, I think the Silk Moth goes, and I think the Sea Turtle comes in. Giving three health to a 4-4 four, four dog. Yeah, I guess. Nah, do it like that. Oh, we're in tier four now. No, but let us be so good last turn. Okay. Falcon, I like, but you need stats is the problem. I think I'll freeze you for just just a small little bit, because I don't like having ha more than half my squad be like buffing the other the remaining little guys. Okay, but now now see if we can take the Falcon next turn, and then uh, find a way to buff them. And maybe a tier five uh, man it no manatee's tier four i don't know i don't know what would be a good buffer in tier five i guess we could wait like one turn but i don't think i want to wait a whole turn just to i mean not like we're really hurting for dubs anyway oh okay we're about to lose this for sure no <laughs> uh, maybe not we're gonna, it's gonna be what do you guys turn into? Six fours? Six sixes? Yeah, we got this in the bag. <laughs> well, we got this in the bag, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. This is this is definitely like the first time I've been able to get a flying fish. That's good, okay. So now you, and I think the sea turtle goes. Cause you're giving two experience, that's good enough. And I wanna get I'm gonna get buffs on the Falcon ASAP. You're not necessary. Banana is pretty good. Not gonna lie. And you're gonna... I'm gonna get you purely because you buff the Falcon for a turn. And maybe next turn you can buff something else. And we got a lot frozen, but it's been a long time since I've been excited enough to have almost the whole shop frozen. Classic macaque team. Your silk moth is gonna pose trouble, but you're out of triggers. So what? what? Yeah, it said you're out of triggers. Stop it. I think we lose this, <laughs> but it was close, and it was a macaque with a with a with a with a stingray. It was the perfect four squad team. So it was. Pretty scary, the baboon is no longer useful, I'm gonna sell you, you were good for a turn. Now the cockatoo's great here. Hitting those two? I like it. Give the banana to I, I just, I don't know if you're gonna stick around now. I think I gotta give it to the, well, the osprey, there's no room. So I'll give it to you for now. And then we'll just buy another Osprey. And we'll hope the Falcon can pop off. And if not, I mean, it's not the biggest waste of money. We got a pretty decent squad to carry us. Oh, nice level one flying fish. Loser. <laughs> you almost chunked through my first unit. Nice job, buddy. This is like a children's game. There's no, there's no need to be this this insufferably mean. Oh my gosh, we're absolutely decimating this guy's squad. 
Oh, sorry, bucko. Are my two little groundhoggy boys gonna swipe your squad? Oops. This is good. Oh, the wolf is exactly what we want. In the third spot. This is this is real good. This is real good. And I'll level you up. And I think the Falcon's out. I gotta say it now. We're just we're not a Falcon build. Yeah, four. You can you can stick around for just a minute, buddy. I see you're summoning three, so you still feel fine. Nothing wrong with a banana. Well, I mean, it's kind of crowded, honestly. I think it's just a waste of space. I'd rather get like chocolate or eat a bread, maybe. Well, I'd rather get a bird of paradise and infinite money, but that's every run. All right, we're coming back on the macaque team, and I think we got him this time for sure. Our scaling is like not bad and we're not even like oh, like look at this oh man it's brutal and if we can level up our wolf and get like some other stuff going we got oh, you're tier three oh, so are you PETA I actually don't think we want I know I said it but I was just rambling off foods that exist this late in the game and aren't horrible none of this is appealing to me another flying fish is not outrageous and a white whale you could spit out something good i'll take you oh, the flying fish is going to be the leftmost so i don't want you to eat it so we'll, we'll still save it you eating a slug though we do that next turn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. They're beautiful. We're already coming up on eight wins here. That is scary. You do be having pretty decent squad, but you're still on our first unit. And you've just gotten through our for our second unit. So well. It's gonna be tight. No, it's not. What am I talking? This is basic math. We got this in the bag. I was thinking there was another dog coming or something. I don't know. God, my cat is so cute right now. You have to see this. Oh, oh, oh. Look at him. He's just got paws sticking. You cute boy. What a little baby. All right. So this, so then we got refill and then we got more refill. This is great. So yeah, you eat the slug. As long as our flying fish doesn't get sniped. Okay, okay. Level three flying fish if we don't win this. But dang, we're, we might win this and then I, can't, I won't get the achievement, which really sucks. I hate when my success gets in the way of my success. But I really can't complain because we've got a good flying fish build and I never get those. Yeah, there's, there's no chance. I mean, you even have, like, the Royal Flycatcher to counter me. But, like, it's not enough. Damage to one random enemy and gain. Why are you shooting off twice? Oh, because I'm summoning, like, three units. He even, he even had the perfect counter, and we still won. Man, I can't be mad. I can't be mad. Fun squad. Well, thanks for watching. Um, did we get a uh, first daily game? It's three minutes to midnight. What are you? The one off. Ugh, I'm not even going to record another video because I've got to go to bed. Anyways, thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more Super Auto Pets because it's the only game that brings me joy. So I'm going to be playing a lot more. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe to support our aspirations to become the two best trapeze artists in Tennessee.